This playthrough is rated T for teen. It's time to see how the big boys do it. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back here with another episode of Front Mission. In the last episode, we helped the supply trucks and did everything we could to destroy them, but unfortunately, with a bit of bad luck, we couldn't destroy every single guy, which just meant losing a little bit of experience and money. Uh, only a thousand Huffman dollars, really, and I can get that from the arena. But I would have liked to have had the experience, more or less. But we were able to just beat most of them, and uh, the Air Force had to come and save us the last two. And we got chewed out by uh, uh, Grieg, who's a part of a group called the Hell's Wall, that uh, apparently some, you know, pro Vonzer group, who's the big boys in this place. And, uh, well, perhaps they're going to show us how it's done. But before we do that, we're now in a new area, the Freedom Base. So now we got the hangar has new uh, stuff we can check out. So let's take a look at what we what our options are now. So we got a whole new set of weapons now. So and let's see, it starts. Yeah, sometimes be in the original game, certain areas would only have weapons for that area, and then you'd have to go back to the old area if you want to buy those types of weapons. But every new area would have just new weapons and then get rid of the old inventory. With the DS version, it adds almost all the inventory from previous areas into the next area so sometimes i have to remember what was the last weapon that was on that so anyway we got the f2 tonfas here which just do a bit more damage than before although interesting enough after a certain point melee weapons stop becoming a thing and they just they just have you use the actual what the actual part as a weapon because it actually starts hitting better and harder at later st stages but for right now if you wanted to make a melee build you could Melee builds are pretty dangerous, though, just because they have to go in, and a lot of times they'll go last unless your uh, melee stat is super high. So you have, to, you have to basically build melee units with a lot of HP just to take the tank the hits and everything like that. But um, then we got the Leo Social Machine Gun. Uh, not a whole lot better than our current weapon, but only by a couple points. So if you want to save your money, you could. But uh, And we've got the Empire Rifle, which is just a better damaging rifle as you can see we got the castray shotgun which is a uh, new weapon basically it's the same as the rifle except it has better to hit uh, because it's in close range it just doesn't have as much damage but really the damage isn't by much as you can see they're 24 to 20 and then that's damage is varied by whatever your short stat is but uh so if you want to have higher chances of hitting maybe go with the castray but that's up to you you know risk and reward that type of thing yeah, we got the Rim 3 there. We also got another new short weapon called the Flame... <laughs> uh, Spaceballs, the Flamethrower! The children love that one. And no, uh, but the Flamethrower, all it is is it's basically another short weapon similar to the, the sh uh, rifle or the shotgun. And it shoots a flame of... It shoots a flame out, out of it, but it doesn't do... There's no flame damage in this game, so it's not like you get anything extra from doing it. Um, it hits a little harder than the shotgun and hit and has a better hit percentage but not by much so it's kind of a middle road only equip it if you really if you really just want to have either the middle of the range weapons or if you just like shooting flames at people which you know you know i do but anyway we also got the mostro machine gun now the thing is is not is the same strength as the um uh, cemetery shotgun the thing uh machine gun the only bad the thing about it is is that it has a really bad to hit 60 which is at the same uh uh percentage as the bazookas however it shoots eight shots so that's another challenge there to like do you equip you know one mostro use it and then hopefully you get most of those hit and do a decent amount of damage but they might miss so that's up to me. That's a hard thing to say. I'm probably what I'm going to do with at least with uh, Kevin and uh, Matthew, give them all one Mostro and then give them one of them the Leo Social just so I have a really decent hitting one. And then with like maybe when I counterattack, maybe I'll use the Mostro just in case. Or if I stun them, I'll use a use a flash grenade and then run in with the Mostro because then I'll have a I'll almost hit with every shot if you flash them. So that's one way to go too to take advantage of that. And then the shoulder weapons, uh, we've got two new uh, uh, rocket launchers here. We've got the Galvados and the Sun Sun Owl. Um, basically, the only difference is their weight and how much damage they do. Um, it's better to upgrade your rockets either way because they have three shots per ammo uh, instead of two uh, like the bones are. So get one, either one. I would just get the Sun Owl because at this point, uh, weight is not a, not a factor. So part-wise, we got a... Whole new set of parts here. So, um, got the Galba Max, Gein, Grop, Grabsint, uh, Genom, Moth version 5, and the Crabsint 2. I would just go with the Crabsint 2 as the best body because it's got the best defense, best 
Uh, it's got the same HP as the Moth, and it's got better power output. So really no reason not to choose any other body unless you just really want to customize your guy or your what, uh, unless your money is really, really low. Left arm wise, um, we've also got the, basically the same type of weapons. The only difference is, like I said, how much the, if you're don't going with a melee build and want to use the punch mechanic of the arm, you might choose d different ones, as you can see there. But really, I would go with either the Crab Scent or the Moth version 5 defending. The Moth has uh, not as good defense as the Crab Scent, only by two points, but it has 24 HP. Or just go with pure defense and get a little bit of a HP boost. I'm probably just going to do the Crab Scent just because I like higher defense, but either one would be viable. Now, if you want to go a little bit different, you could get another gun arm. This one's the Bazooka gun arm, as you can see there. It It's actually, if you're using Bazookas, it's not a bad choice. The only problem is you can't use a shoulder weapon or a shoulder item as well as that, so you have to lose the chance to either use a shield or have another set of rockets but it, hit, it does 25 damage uh on its attack and it has a 70 percent or 70 hit which is much better than bazooka at least by 12 points or whatever so if you want to have something that has a you know be able to shoot your bazooka but not worry about ammo this would be the way to go i think i'm going to try this i wasn't originally going to do it with my build but i'm going to give it to ha hallie and uh, howard and see how that works with them uh, but i'm still going to give them obviously a rocket on the other arm but uh, Leg-wise, uh, we've got a new set of leg types we can now go over. Uh, the uh, on the bottom there, we've got treads and we've got, uh, or sorry, we got hover and treads or wheels or whatever in this case. So we got the crab scent with wheels and then the R's with a uh, hover um, movement. So be, be based off that on the screen. So those are solid. Um, depends on where what map you're on. I prefer bipedal legs overall because they usually have better movement when it comes to most places usually like mountainous ranges and stuff like that that require you to climb things um bipedal legs are clearly much better because you can actually climb those if it's for weirdly enough hover doesn't really get you that same with treads obviously you can't if you have uh, wheels then you can't go up certain hills or certain um you know how sometimes in the map there's like a little bit of a uh, a a jump from like one to the next if you have bipedal legs you can just walk over it but if you have wheels you can't do that so you can't get past certain points although i i don't think there's a whole lot of maps on here that have to worry about that the next map we do want to use legs but you could go with ours they've got like uh better defense and hp it's just you know uh but i'm gonna go with moth version fives for everyone just i just like having legs and i don't know about my legs i can't find them they're not there uh, we also got a couple new computers here um, the Cryer and the Kalor. Um, I would give the Cryers to all my uh, long-range fighters. Um, I might still keep the uh, Sukvis uh, just for better short damage. Yeah, I would lose out a, a bit of a dodge increase as well as long set since I have everyone with missiles. But I think mainly, I'm, mainly missiles with short-range fighters are just there to do like a little bit of damage and then you run up on them and finish them off. Um, so I'm probably going to leave this on most of them and just give criers to Haley and Howard backpack wise no new backpack so we're good to go so all right oh we also got some new items in the just actual items to use We've got smoke grenades for those who haven't played the game before smoke grenades what they do is you use them on the enemy and it reduces their accuracy it's supposed to reduce their melee and short stat against you um, I'm not sure about melee. I think it works on the short, but melee, I'm kind of iffy about that. I never actually researched it. It's supposed to work, but I've I've had, I've had used on melee, and they still hit me before. So I'm going to say that's more of a short stat effector than anything. We've also got chafe grenades, which are really useful. At least they were in the original campaign. What they do is they reduce your any long-range weapon, uh, long stat weapon, like bazookas, uh, cannons, and like missiles, by like I think like 50% or even less than that. So it reduces, uh, highly reduces their chance to hit you, which they're really good. At. But you, they usually last like a couple rounds, depending, because sometimes they're like the stun ability or the, or you know, the flash ability. Sometimes they'll last multiple rounds. Sometimes they'll only last one round. So you're kind of a, you have to kind of pay attention to your stats on that one. But they're really good if you know if you're going to get hit with missiles. So I'm not going to use it for next battle because of how it's going to work, but uh, definitely something to consider. So. Oh yeah, I guess I could talk to the guy really quick and see if he has any unique dialogue. All right, let's talk to him. We just got some new items from the mainland. Check him out. Oh, thanks. All right, cool. All right. Well, that's it for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly go take care of all my guys, and I'll be right back. Uh, like, set them up and all that. 
all right, we're all set up and ready to go. So let's uh, let's uh, actually let's see if anyone's in command we can talk to. Yes, Lieutenant. The briefing is tomorrow. Get some rest until then. All right. Yes, Lieutenant. Oh, okay, it's the same. Sometimes people have extra dialogue, some or like two times, but not all the time. Now right, let's see how our companions are doing. We still we saved those trucks and we accomplished our mission. You did nothing wrong, sir. I'm glad to see someone's got my back. Those of you will put up a fight come tomorrow. We better be ready. All right. Well, we'll we'll try. Starting tomorrow, the Aussies will learn to fear the name of Matthew D. Lorenzo. Why are you looking at me like that, sir? <laughs> I love that. This I'm actually prefer uh, maybe not so much story, but I definitely prefer this group of characters to the original campaign. Maybe because of hindsight, but they've got a little bit more personality to them. Like, yeah, they did have personality in the original game, but I feel like this game gives them a bit more to say and do. In the original game, you almost never got to talk to your companions um, between towns. They only talked to be the mission, not like there wasn't a scene, there wasn't a spot to actually actively talk to them and interact with them. Obviously, that was the the only the the reason why that was because it's back on the SNES, so you know, living in memory and all that other stuff. Maybe rushed, who knows? But we'll teach those I oh we'll teach those eyes a lesson, Lieutenant. High altitude airborne Vanza drops. That was amazing, wasn't it, Lieutenant? Yeah, wonder what it's like to fly so high in a Vanza. I don't know. I get airsick myself. Well, I've gotten seasick, and I get motion sickness in the car if I'm not driving. So, uh, yeah, I'm a manly man, aren't I? If I were a historian, sir, I'd say that today was the first day of the age of Vanzas. But Vanzas have been around for a while, haven't they? I've never been part of a large-scale operation like this, but I guess my job doesn't change much. I'm glad you get something to say, Howard. All we need to do are the jobs we're given, sir. Well, anyway, let's rest and head up for tomorrow. Me, 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 me. Do you have anything to say for tomorrow? Good morning, sir. Today's the big day. <laughs> Gotta kill some Aussies. Shouldn't you be going? The briefing starts soon. All right, I'll get, I'll get up, have my coffee, have some eggs. Good morning, Lieutenant. When are we heading out? Soon. When will then be now? Soon. Let us know when you're getting more details about the operation, sir. All right, well, well. Avances are ready, sir. I meet you at that. Thank you, Haley. Locked and noted, sir. <laughs> and Howard, whatever our orders, all we have to do is follow them and do our job. Oh, wait, do you repeat yourself? You don't have any new dialogue? I'll warm up the Avances. <laughs> you know, that's the problem with being stoic sometimes, you know. Uh, okay. Let's go to the command room. Everyone present? Good. Let's begin the briefing. The Freedom City Defense Force has fallen back to the city center. They dug in around the city hall as of now. The 64th will spearhead an attack to break through the defenses. Our main force will follow them and mop up. We need the remaining Vance's squads to support our left and right flanks, while one squad needs to serve as rear guard. Kevin, you'll join Gale's squad and support our left flank. Something wrong, Captain? Well, Lieutenant Greenfield, is it true you engage the OCU against orders and put the lives of your squad mates in danger? How is that relevant, Gale? I'd love to hear the Lieutenant's answer. We engage the OCU to rescue a supply convoy, sir. So you admit it, then. Colonel, I refuse to goop with Lieutenant Greenfield. He admits he is incapable of making objective decisions in the line of fire. I'll not put my squad at risk for this man. I think everyone here understands my concerns. Dot, dot, dot. We wouldn't have enough troops to support our left flank without him. My squad is enough, sir. Dot, dot, dot. The boy and his friends can come with the 64th. I'll make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Anyone have any objections to that? I thought so. That's all right with you, Colonel. Thanks, Greg. That'll do fine. Oh, I'm surprised he backed me up. That's weird. We march into freedom at 1300 hours. The enemy has nowhere to run except he expect heavy resistance. Good luck, everyone. Dismissed. Interesting. <laughs> Go to hell. Whoa, what the, what the hell, man? Excuse me? Not you, boy. I'm talking about Gale. I'm gonna check on my squad. Make sure you tell yours not to get in our way. Sir. Heads up, we're moving out. What's our target this time, boss? Freedom City Hall. Uh, I forgot. Uh, we always get the good ones. 
Yeah, but Gale's gonna be out there this time. As far as I'm concerned, he can go to hell. He might have been spec ops or something in his heyday, but he's not fooling anyone. I can see it in his eyes. He's the kind who'd pay for glory with the blood of his men. Where's you pay for glory with the blood of our enemies? Isn't that right, boss? Hell, he doesn't care about glory as long as someone's bleeding. Shut up and get to work. We don't have much time. Ah, what a colorful cast of color characters, huh? Anyway, does anyone have any extra dialogue before we head out? Lieutenant, this operation will make or break the war for us. I trust you to do your best out there. Lieutenant, this operation will... Oh, okay. Didn't know if you had any extra dialogue. Forgive me, forgive me. Back so soon, sir? Is there a problem? No, I'm fine, Sergeant. We've been placed under the command of Captain Demetrius of Hell's Wall. Our main objective is to punch through the OCU defenses and capture Freedom City Hall. Who 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 runs City Hall? You yeah. know, urban warfare is tricky, sir, especially against entrenched opponents. I know. Make sure everyone is ready, Sergeant. We'll need everything we can to take with us. We'll do, sir. The squad's ready to go at your command. All right. Urban warfare or not, we'll get them, sir. Yeah, we have to, otherwise the game will end. I'm ready, sir. Bailey, what do you know about the 64th? I know that their rights are frost, the most heavily armored advances to date, and I hear each one is fully customized for every pilot, all the way from actuator balancing settings up to the visor camera sensitivity. Uh, thanks, Corporal. That's more than enough. <laughs> Apparently she, she's really into research. Have you seen Frost yet, sir? Aside from the armor, the veritable engineering masterpieces. Well, she's not wrong about that, at least in this battle, anyway. This will be my first time fighting in an urban environment, but I'll do my job, so. I don't know. I'll leave you to it, Howard. We should prioritize mobility for urban fighting. We'll make ourselves clear targets if we're stuck walking over each other in narrow streets. True. Yeah, sometimes there'll be like cars and stuff like that that'll block us, even though we are two, like 10 ton walking machines. I think we can walk over our car. But anyway. All right, let's head on out to the next objective to help the 64th. Hmm. No matter how many times you try, you're not getting past us. Wait, those red Vonsers, I've seen them before. No, it can't be. It's over. It's Hell's Wall. All right, boys. We're clearing a route for those no-good regulars. Dave, get, a, get those pesky support vehicles. Rebus, Milligan, take out any Vonsers that get in our way. Me and Josh are going in through the middle. Gotcha, boss. No one gets in the way of Hell's Wall. You Aussies are going down. That get a gaggle seriously thinks they can get past us alive. We'll take care of them good. Yeah, we got Hill's Wall to help us out here, so let's uh, choose our guys and head on in. All right, and they move after our phase, so uh, like immediately there afterwards. So yeah, we got Hell's Wall to help us during this whole fight. And if you don't want to do anything and let Hell's Wall take care of everything, they pretty much will. I mean, there's like no. Despite their levels not being that uh, like as high as ours, they can pretty much handle themselves because they're in frost. As you can see, look at their HP uh, totals compared to like us. Yeah, almost doubled. So yeah, 100 HP in the body. They got a move of 14. They got Ebus, uh, Ebus and Empire. Well, this guy has e uh, Dave has an Ebus rifle and Empire rifle. He's level six. He's got 11 melee and a dodge stat, so not so good in his short, so he won't do as much damage, but still. Then we've got uh, Josh over here. He's got a 12 in his short stat. That's his best stat. He's got the, but yet he's a melee fighter. Okay. Well, I mean, his melee is not that much less, but he's got F2 Tonfa and an F F3 hand rod. We've got Geta at level five uh, as best as melee. So actually he takes advantage of his melee there with the, also the hand rod and Tonfa. We got Grieg at level 12. He's got the He's got 12s and almost everything except for his long stat, but that doesn't matter. He doesn't have a long weapon anyway. But anyway, he's got Empire Ebus Rifle. He's got the switch ability, which allows him to attack with basically both weapons if it activates. It's not guaranteed. I forgot what the actual guarantee. At level 1, it's not as, uh, as, as it's not going to happen as often as if it was level 3, for example. But even then, it doesn't, it doesn't proc every time. 
Anyway, got Milligan over here as well. He's level five. He's got pretty much average stats all around. He's got the Frost Punch and Egret Missiles on both shoulders, so he's a long range guy. And then we've got Rebus at level seven over here as well. Stats nothing too crazy, uh, but he's got also got the Egret, but he's also got Godias uh, Rocket Launcher as well. And then obviously we got ourselves. Okay, so we got a couple of units here, so let's take a look at them. Enemy units, I mean. We got, uh, so the Ziggles here, they will only appear if you, uh, let's see. Uh, no, I'm thinking of the extra ones. Never mind. Those will pop up in a second. But anyway, we got some Ziggle 11 A's here. So, okay stats overall. Got a pretty high movement. They got the Leo Social Machine Gun, Ebus Rifle. They're level 5. No crazy stats. So, I think that's the same on most of them, if I recall. Uh, we've also got a MBT tank there. Very net. They're obviously right before from the previous fight, except instead of the Smasher uh, cannon, they got the Nats or uh, Nots cannon, which is uh, a little bit more da better damage. Uh, but they'll still punch like a truck if you're not careful. A couple more uh, Ziggles here. We got a supply truck over here. Uh, it's level two. It's got 200 HP, 14 move, and it's got a grave machine gun. This will really only attack you if you actually get next to him and attack him. A uh, supply truck's what they do for those who aren't familiar with this game. Uh, for those who watch the OCU campaign, you know for sure. But those who haven't, what they do is that if an enemy steps right next to him, it'll heal like I think, ten. It'll heal like I think like ten percent of the HP of the of a part that's damaged. And if you use the supply uh, command, you can actually resupply your missiles and stuff like that. Although we don't have a supply tank, so we can't do that. But they can. So yeah, a couple, uh, another couple of ziggles over here. Uh, as you can see uh, and then we've got some uh, light tanks here as well so all right so the problem is is that trying to uh, kill these guys as fast so that we don't lose out on the experience so if you're trying to get experience you want to actually kind of get ahead of these guys so we have to kind of just bull bull on in even if we don't want to otherwise we'll lose out on like a lot of experience because yeah like I said you could leave them up you could leave it up to them and they'll they'll kill everyone by themselves oh yeah and uh, um, if Grieg dies, um, it's game over because he's considered a command unit like us, like Kevin. So make sure he doesn't die. So if something happens, try to save him. Although it shouldn't really happen, but you'd be surprised, like the uh, the randomness in the game. So all right, so we're gonna move. Let's see. So I still want to move him, even if I don't want to actually use him. I kind of want to use them as more of a buffer more than anything, so I, I don't want to like, block their attacks. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird that the game lets you um, command them, you know? You think uh, you think the game would just leave it alone, so. All right. I, actually, I think, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay, so the enemy is already added. So um, if you are fighting, if you beat in level, I think it's mission five, if you beat it within um, 11 turns or you destroy the radio dish, then there will be three less ziggles here um, during this fight. But since I purposely let it um, go over, we have to deal with more ziggles here. So yeah, too bad none of these guys have like duel or anything like that where I could blast off their legs and basically leave them limp. But oh well. Although if you do leave an enemy limp or destroy a um, arm part, they'll run back to the supply truck and try to heal themselves. So keep that in mind as well. So, all right, let's see. How do we want to start off here? Um, do we want to start flashy thinging them at this early stage? Maybe. Maybe just to get some uh, free experience for my melee fighters here. Actually, since I flashed him, I could probably get a couple of free, like, uh, um, Hornet shots in, so we could show off the damage of this th these things. Oh, nice. We almost finished that off already. <laughs> eh, yeah, we'll hit him with the blast again. Ooh, nice. I mean, I wanted to blow up more of their arms for more experience, but, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead. Well, I don't want to use too many of my missiles just because I want to save them for the tank. So 
nice to get three shots with uh, my, my guys this time. Uh, let's go ahead and actually weaken them. So when they get up in the combat, we can try to finish them off. Or... Yeah. All right, nice. Getting a little for Kevin. All right, who do we want to leave? Yeah, fortunately, actually, fortunately, none of my guys actually have shields. Hmm. Actually, I probably could just back them up. Actually, just yeah, I forgot that they don't give uh, they don't give Hell's Wall a. Uh, uh, oh yeah, Hell's Wall. They all have fro like they said before. They all have frost mechs, which are actually the best, highly defensive mechs in the game. Uh, well, they're not the most defensive, but they got a really good defense set, so they can they can take some damage. So. Right, yeah, let's try let's try countering with a Mostro. See if we can get a decent amount of hits. Oh, nice! Most I think most of them hit actually. That was not bad. Where are you gonna use on me, uh, Flash? Oh, Acid. Yeah, we don't have access to Acid yet. What Acid does is it reduces your defense stat, so they can do more damage to you basically. So, okay. Uh. I'm just trying to think I want to do this. Let's just go ahead and go. Uh, do I want to try it? Well, I haven't flashed them, so. Yeah, let's try a missile. I only have some. Now that I only have so many missiles now, so. Nice. Get some experience for Haley. She needs it badly. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I could try. Try, uh, try on you. See how we do. Oh, nice. We're doing pretty good on that. So, level for Howard. Ooh, he got an ability. The guide ability. What this does is it's similar to dual. So what guide does is add a reduced uh, accuracy. It allows you to choose a heart on an enemy, but this is the long stat version of it. Duel is the short stat version of it. And no fight. Melee does not have a stat like that, unfortunately. So you can use duel with fight though. But the thing is with the melee stat, you have to you have to basically build to get duel, you have to build up the short stat to at least I think a thousand is the minimum to start getting skills. So you have to get that to activate and then start building up your fight stat more so you can actually take advantage of it with your fist. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah, guide's really good. The only problem with guide, though, is that it it suffers from it reduces your accuracy. So, um, uh, so there's a chance to miss if you guide. So the best way to use guide is if the guy's stunned, or if your hit chance is pretty good, then you can do that. So, but yeah, I, I do like guide. It's just like I said, at the early stages, it can be kind of a pain to to mess with. So, um. So you already gained your level. Yeah, Howard needs levels badly. Uh, or Matthew, I mean. Because he's way behind for, for a short stack guy. So I think I gave you a Mostro. So I could, uh, let's see. You, I used your flash thing already. So let's use your flash thing on... Well, actually, I could use smoke on you. Um... Nah, let's use. Well, no, I might save my uh, flashes for you because I'm almost in. I'm in range of you, aren't I? Let's see, no, one, two, three, four. So not quite. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, so let's use smoke. Actually, let's use smoke on you just to show off what it looks like. I almost never use smoke in the game, but it can be useful sometimes. Oh yeah, I could. I could blast you. Start weakening you off. Unfortunately, you won't do as much damage because you don't have your long stat is good, and you missed all the time. Great. I'll just use smoke on you so that way when he 
counter when he attacks him, his his stats will be reduced. Yeah, let's try using the Mestro again since uh And he still hit with some of his attacks. I was hoping he would miss. But yeah, like I said, the smokes. It's not as if, I've noticed uh, the smoke stat isn't. I mean, he still missed, as you can tell. It's just I've noticed the smoke stat or uh, smoke item doesn't work as well as um, the chafe grenade. Like the chafe grenade, you're all, well. I think it's because long range weapons already have a pretty low to hit already. So the chafe reducing it even further, like makes it a lot harder to, uh, you know, go past that. So. Um, how many missiles we got left? Yeah. Yeah, we could try missling them, see uh Let's try, yeah. You know, whoops, nope. Yeah, let's try giving her some finish that guy off. Ooh, not quite. I'm not gonna have uh, Matthew finish him off, I guess. So he should be able to finish him off anyway. Um, oh right, he has a guy to. Be, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off just so for now. But normally I would like try to hit the body or something like that. Cause yeah, it's gonna automatic. It'll always pop up that now every time you use guide or duel. Well, the same thing. Every time you use it, it'll pop up. So. Um. The only problem is if I move just a little bit further, I'm gonna activate the um, that one tank. Let's see, did I destroy his arms? Mm -hmm. yeah, let's see if we can finish him off. Nice. Aha. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Let's see, you've only got. Oh yeah, you've got. You've got all your missiles. So. Mm, not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna try to finish you off since you're not gonna attack me anymore. So. <coughs> since I blew off your arms and everything. Good job, Matthew. All right, you're getting those levels. You're getting, you're making, you're making it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You know, just keep running away with, uh, with Hell's Wall. <laughs> like I said, if we wanted to just beat this, we. Oh, would you actually finish him off if I did that? And nah, I don't want to risk it. Actually, probably should just be moving him back. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather protect our rear. In the rear with the gear. Like you ran off. Um, yeah, let's go in. The guard wouldn't work very much anyway, so. Yeah, okay, cool. Even though the rifles have really good hits, but whatever. Hmm. Probably wanna. Let's see. You have, yeah, let's go ahead and move you up here and flash you. And just have everyone start um, wailing on you since you do a ton of damage. So I want to, I want to guarantee basically hitting you is what I'm trying to do. So is that close enough to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hit him with missiles and all that fun stuff. All right. Not bad damage. Hmm. I almost want to just hit them with bazookas just to. Uh, Um, save my missiles, but nope, just hit him as is. Hmm. Actually, I wonder. Did I get. Is that far enough for. No. I want to see if I can. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get close enough. Let's see. 
Unfortunately, Egret does quite a bit of damage, so that's the thing. It might it might actually destroy them. That's the thing I'm worried about. Let's see, what how many missiles do you got? Just the one. I could wait. Well, maybe I should have used the wait, use the flash later, but so I could like weaken this guy, and uh, uh, you basically used uh, um, Hell's Wall to weaken that guy with their missiles, and then finish him off with our guy. Let's see, yeah, yeah, we'll try the Mostro again. Why not? We had pretty good luck with that. Ooh, got hit pretty badly though. I'll have to heal that with uh, I'll have to heal that with uh, Haley later. Now I've weakened him so much, I almost don't want to do it now. Yeah, I'll hold off. I. I I should I should have held off on my damage now that I think about it. But I don't want to give him any experience, so. Okay, just not not a whole lot of damage, so. Yeah, it's just counter attack, why not? Ooh, ow. You hit me pretty badly. Uh, let's see. I'll take out that arm of yours. That, that did a lot of damage to me. Holy crap. I forgot how, uh, how hard those guys punch. Let's see. Let me go ahead and flash thing again. You got a missile, so actually, I'm gonna have you <coughs> attack this guy. We want to, we want to destroy them so they don't repair their parts. Nice. Almost did no damage to me too. Oh, he shouldn't finish him off. I don't think. We'll see though, he might. Okay, good. I want Haley to get the experience basically. She needs it. Oops. Yeah, she'll finish him off. Aha! Nice! Get that level, Haley. You need it. You needed it! Yeah, let's try uh, finish you off. Since your things to go. Nope, don't need to. Oh, I, whoops, I didn't mean to choose that. I was about to say, hopefully I don't miss because I accidentally, I hit it, you know what I mean? Let's see, you've taken a hit now, so let's have you. Eh, I guess Greed would be the, one of the better characters actually just straight up. No, anyway, let's just move everyone. Oops. Yeah, they don't have any items, by the way, for those who are curious. Yeah, sure, we'll move Greek down there. The only, the only thing I'm worried about is them, if I do actually attack with them is accidentally hitting them in the head and killing them, you know, that type of thing. Oof, almost finished him off, too. Noise. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you have the kill, Matthew, if you can do it. Alright, no healing for you. Haha. -ha. Take that. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you need... I need to heal you. Uh, you, you took a nice chunk of damage to the, the arm. 
Yeah, I just like I just did not expect all that damage to happen back to back. Mm. See, that's the only one you're gonna hit, so I'll let you go ahead and hit you. Yeah, we'll try the Mestro with you. Nice. The only problem with the long stack characters is that they. Unless you're using missiles, you're not going to hit multiple locations at once. That's why I'm getting so much experience. It's because I, I destroyed his whole body. So I got experience for all the parts. So that's where you get all of your experience from. So. Yeah, I want to save your missiles for the other tank. Oh, whoops. His legs were already, his legs were already blown off. Whoops. Yeah, that's the problem is I have to... If I'm not paying attention, I might accidentally, like, you know... Because if you choose to duel a part that they don't actually have, you'll miss automatically, so. Um, although, weirdly enough, if they're stunned, it, that doesn't count. Like, you'll still hit them, at, well, possibly still hit them at a part because of the way the stun function works, so. There we go. Finish you off. Yeah, the machine gun should hit quite a few parts if I get lucky. Nah, we'll just... I just want to hit whatever. Nice. All right. Might just have these guys now finally stay back and let uh and let my group take them. The only problem with these two guys is they just stand there now. <laughs> You're like, oh great. Let's move you guys out of the way. Oh yeah, might as well try to get my these missile guys. Now yeah, where's the missile guys? Okay, I want to have you guys go after that tank thing so I can so I'm not gonna waste as many resources on it. Where's the other one? Okay. Middle again, yeah. There we go. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just leave you guys there. Yeah, we'll just guard. Don't wanna don't give them the experience. Yeah, so far even their basic guard attack doesn't really do much. You gotta hit with chafe. Or chafe, whatever, chap, whatever. Okay. Yeah, let's get our missile guys over there if we can. Let's see, where's the other guy again? There you are. There you go. We'll move the rest of these. I think I think we we have enough. We can go ahead and take them on. All right, you did your you did your job, Greg. Now it's time for the big boys to. Uh, or it's time for us to handle them this time. So, let's see what's my levels like. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have, like, Matthew and, uh, let's, uh, smoke you so we can, uh, so when you walk up next to me, I can counter you without too, without possibly doing too much damage to me, especially if you hit me with Leo's social. Yeesh. Actually, can I hit you with the, yeah. Yeah, the bazooka, the bazooka arm has a pretty decent range, so... Didn't expect a hit, to tell you the truth. Let's see. Let's try to hit him in his arm. Man, they've got a decent to hit, too. Yeah, we'll go and counter. That yeah, definitely worked. As you can see, you only hit with like one thing. So, I didn't smoke you, so you'll probably hit me quite, quite a bit. So, not bad. Yeah, I wish your short stat was higher. You would do a lot more damage, but unfortunately, your stat, short stat growth, has been pretty poor overall, compared to like you know, Johnny or Kevin. So. I mean, it's not the worst. It's just you know, just hasn't been as good. All right, let's uh, let's see. Yeah, well, he can he can take a couple of good biases to the face. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I want to weaken you. Because the experience, unless you destroy it, the experience for killing them isn't that much. So. Hmm. Surprised they missed. Uh, yeah, I, I could probably afford to just go in without having to use a flash grenade. Because they do cost a bit of money to use them. So. you. Let's yeah, see if we can take out his arm. Although I keep missing with his arm, so. Ugh, man, come on, hit him. And you don't have guides, so I can't do anything with you. So. There we go. That was actually the arm I was trying to get, so. I'm, I'm dragging it out for the experience. Sorry about that. Um, I don't want to guard, actually. Yeah, see if we can finish him off with the... Or finish off his other arm for the experience. And then let uh, Haley finish him off. Oh, come on. I should have flashed him. That would have at least increased my chances to uh, hit him. But I, I wanted to see if I could get it without it. I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing everything, but actually the arm I actually want, so he stops becoming a threat, you know what I mean? All right. Maybe one or two more missiles, maybe? Man, what is it? I thought Hell's, Hell's Wall was supposed to be this awesome mega group, you know, and here they are missing, you know. I know, that's it's percentages and all that, but still. There we go. Alright, I'll try to finish them off with, like, <clears throat> my other guys. Actually, while we're doing that, I might as well have my other group go towards that, uh, um, towards those, uh, one mechs that are, like, by themselves. Yeah, sure, I'll have my guy there. I'll just defend. Oh, I can just uh, turn. Uh, yeah, I'll just block. Oh, yeah, did I turn off the... Did I turn on the speed sound? Okay, just making sure. I did that at the beginning of the game, but sometimes I feel like my... Um, Stuff gets reset or something like that, so. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I need a... Uh, actually, you know what? I'll have you... Do you have your flash down? Yeah, you still have your flash. I'll have you go over there with... Uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to try this one more time to hit him in the arm. You better hit him. Okay, I'm flashing you next. I'm flashing you next turn, so with someone, so... I'll have Matthew go over there. All right. God, I can't believe that guy just won't, won't get hit in the arm. Oh, whoops, I accidentally counter. Dang it. No. Oh, uh. I don't hit the arm. Dang it. I, I pressed the button by accident, so... All right, fine, Howard. Just hit him in the head. I won't actually have to use a flash thing on you. There we go. All right. Now I want to get over there. I don't think I'm close enough yet. Nope. See, his attack range is... finish them off so all right you guys go towards that other group <clears throat> well it's only two of them left so yeah i'm glad i'm glad they let you control hell's wall mainly just because so you can actually get the experience they could have easily made them be controlled themselves so oh you know we're coming for you so now you're actually gonna use to chafe that might wear off by the time i get there though uh, 
slash you. And see if we can get Haley to finish you off so you can get the experience for that. You should, but, you know, I've had weird things happen to you in this game. Yeah. And then I'd be rather sad. There we go. Awesome. Yay. Yeah, she didn't get the guide ability. Oh, well. All right, move everyone over there. Oh, did we? I was about to say, I remember moving all my guys here. It's because they're on the uh, <coughs> end of the turn. Uh, I think I'll wait. Maybe I should have guarded. Yeah, Leader Social can do at least a bit of damage. Whoop. What was that noise? Oh, the thing moved. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'll guard, just in case. My HP is pretty low on this arm. Awesome, blocked it all. There's that. Oh, there's that other tank. I was like, you know, I was thinking for a second, I was like, am I missing an, a tank or something with that? I'm like, yes, I am. <coughs> yeah, I'll just hit with the Leo Social. Maybe finish him off with the. Never mind. I forgot I do too much damage with this thing, so. Uh, I was going to say, maybe I can have Haley uh, uh, help. Nope. Use, you know, let's use a cast ray and then let's see. They usually tend to use their. Let's try this. I missed. Yeah, like I said, duel and duel and guy reduce your reduce your hit, so it's like one of those toss ups. I'm going to go and use an item. I mean, they don't cost that much. I still got a few of them, so yeah, I'll go ahead. Why not? Even though Haley's like almost there to, to help get some experience for her. There. Oh, we blast his arms off. Nice. Now I can have uh, Howard and Haley go in and finish him off. Oh, nice. I have to gain a level. There's stats getting up there. Alright, move over there. Let's see. Let's have you. <coughs> eh. Let me try. I'll try to hit you in the, the legs if I can. I guess I could have used my son, son Al. Cool. I, lo I love missing with this. Uh, it is until Guy gets a higher level, then it becomes a little bit more manageable. Because then the reduced, uh, when you get higher Guy level, it means um, your the accuracy reduction is uh, highly reduced, or you don't, you won't miss as often, basically. All right, let's try. Let's try hitting with you again in the guide. Of course, he hits. Well, whatever, what I, whatever was I thinking? You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The but to to get those levels, you have to gain levels and use the item to uh, actually improve the. Uh, Prove the ability, so. Oh man, he got a really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to back off. He got a nice old uh, full damage on me. Alright, let's have a. Uh, let's see, he was still level 10. Oh, Howard's slow now. Probably because of the whole. Uh, you know what? Let's hit. Let's hit you. Oh no, you're out of your thing. Okay. Are you out of Flash too? Now you got one more flash. All right, let's try to finish off your, try to destroy your arms. But with flash, I might not actually hit him in his arm though. Yeah, see, I hit him in the leg instead. But it means I still hit him, so. Alright, 
blast him. Mm, right. Oh, you do have a sun owl, and I can, I can. Oh, but you don't have guide. Mm, nah, that's fine. We just can't blow off the armor I actually want to blow off, you know? Because Leah's social is, in this case, is the more dangerous weapon, you know? And that's just how that game, this game works, you know what I mean, my friends? You know what I mean? Do you know what I am saying? Yeah, let's try to... Try to hit him again. I want to get the most experience I can from these guys. Come on! No! Just hit him in the arm. Why won't you do it? This is usually when my plans start falling apart and I get a little frustrated. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oops. You're out of flash too, so I'll just... I'll just have you sit there. I'll be attack Matthew, but I'll block with you so you don't take, do as much damage. Are you going to use a flash on me? Oh, no smoke. Okay. That doesn't really affect the long stat, though. It's only supposed to affect, like, short stats and melee stats. I mean, the, I, from what I understand, the original concept for it was it was supposed to completely um, work on all your weapons, no matter what it was. That was supposed to make it so useful. But the thing is, I don't... I don't think it works like that. I, like, I haven't gotten it. It doesn't really... It doesn't seem to work as well as it should, if that makes sense. At least I can't get it to work as, as intended, so... Finally got him in the arm. All right, Haley, uh, go ahead and blast him. Since he's, fla since he's flashed, or stunned, I can... I can uh, guarantee my hit. There we go, Haley. Yay, you got guide. All right. Now I don't have to worry about you for the rest of the game. I mean, you know what I mean. They got the abilities I wanted from them. Uh, I think, yeah, I'll give it to Matthew. Yeah, let's see if you can finish them off. Go on, do it. I believe in you, Matthew. Awesome. All right, we did it. Yay. We beat all of them without Hell's Wall's help. Sort of. The coast clear, boy. City Hall, here we come. Four thousand eight Huffman dollars for killing him. Nice, six thousand four hundred eighty-two Huffman dollars, and no one died. Yeah, you do. If if any Hell's Walls uh, gets destroyed, you do lose money. So they shouldn't, but you know, you never know. Free Freedom Battle Zone. But anyway, yeah, we are, we're ready, uh, heading into City Hall. Are we ready to take City Hall? Is it time for the power of the people? Oh, wait, no, we're a different country fighting another country. Well, we'll get in our mayoral election next time on the next episode of Front Mission. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.